Oh, well, hello, scrappers. It's Friday night here in Oklahoma, and uh, I did a little bit of repair to that furnace floor, and uh, decided I wanted to give it a try to see if I could uh, melt some copper. So it's yet to be seen. Throw some copper in there. Got some yolks from a TV set and some other. Got about six pounds of copper here. Probably not going to do all that right now, but we'll see what we can get done. Some of this will probably need to wad up into balls or something. Okay, I need to get something to light this. Yeah, it'd be much nicer doing this out here on a in the morning. Okay, I'm going to set the crucible down in there and let it kind of warm up a little bit. Make sure there's no moisture in it. Right now I'm just operating with propane at the moment. But for those of you that are new to the channel, first time watching, this is a waste oil burner here. Some oil's already come up the, the feed line. That's where I control the, the feed for the oil. Right here is a propane valve here. And uh, pretty soon I'll open this up. That will really get the siphon going and let air in. And after about a minute or so, it'll be burning on waste oil. Then I'll shut the propane back off. So we've got a pretty good flame coming out the top and everything right now. And back that down a little bit. Get a nice swirl going there. I may have to set up another table as I go, but uh, you'll be able to hear the difference as that oil gets burning. I'm going to try to set this up. I do need another table over here to kind of overcrowded on this one. Just a little overcrowded. I'll set it up as I get this going because it's going to take a little bit to get hot enough and start melting. But uh, I'll try to get it over here where you can kind of see what I'm doing on the valves, maybe. Okay, I'm going to put the lid on. Side of this glove is kind of getting messed up for that little finger. May have to use the other gloves. Okay, right now I got waste oil and propane. 
try to get you over here and get you a little look inside. So you'll confirm it, you shut off at the tank. I've been using that tank for over a year now. There's my uh, bottle of waste oil. Counterclockwise on this turns it up. see if it even melted a little bit. I barely got a hold of that thing. I got some copper heated up there on top. a little bit there on it. It's nice and cherry red in there, that's for sure. But yeah, it didn't didn't quite melt the copper, did it? Got it nice and cherry red, but uh, 
Doesn't really look like there's anything melted in there at all. Okay, I'm just going to let this cool down. And, uh, yeah, it was an experiment. What can I say? But mainly, the whole thing was actually designed, if you can say it was designed, thought of in my head, but uh, the main purpose was to melt those uh, lawnmower motors, melt them down, that way I didn't have to take that uh, dirty aluminum price breakage, and I could set, you know, have a low-cost way to melt the aluminum, make ingots out of it, and put it on eBay. So, you know, it's almost 6.30 now, so I'm going to put some of this stuff away while this stuff cools down, and uh, call it a night, get in out of the heat. I'm going to try to get up there to that one job up on Highway 76 tomorrow morning, try to finish that off, get back, and hopefully unload the trailer. But if it gets too hot, I'll blow that off too. And then Sunday morning, I'm going to get back out to that big job and cut up what heavy steel I can. I was hoping it would melt it, but, you know, next time. Yeah. I've been thinking about a Devil Forger, I've been kind of looking at them, but uh, I had a guy call me here this last week wanting aluminum ingots and copper ingots, wanting to buy them, so, and I haven't even got anything on eBay yet, so, <laughs> getting, getting, uh, getting a demand for them already, so, this, one here, I'm not going to touch it since I had it on top, but that's supposed to hold one pound of copper. It's got a 15 degree taper on the side, so the ingot should re release from the mold real easy. So, I just added about six pounds here. So I'll leave the crucible out here probably overnight, let it cool, and uh, get in here, shut my air off. Yeah, I set up out here under the fruit trees. You can see I've been losing a lot of apples. I've got a peach tree here and then a little plum. Yeah, that's where to go. Where's it at? There it is. That's not a plum though. This is off the apple tree. You can see I got a little bit of shade. I'm kind of running out. The sun's kind of get getting behind that one now. So this one here is my favorite tree, and you can see it's drooping down. Got some heavy branches. I need to cut a bunch of these lower branches off, I guess. I just loaded down with apples. Now I got a red delicious over there. That out there, little field there, that was my garden area. Maybe next year, year after, I might put a small garden in. Since I'll be retired, I'll have more time to tend to it. The weeds just trying to work full time and doing some scrapping and whatnot. Even when it wasn't scrapping hard and heavy, just Weeds would get ahead of you. I used to plant a couple rows of watermelon, a couple rows of cantaloupe, okra. I had a pretty good garden, but it's a lot of work. So I'm going to get off here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Wasn't much to it really. Uh, it was mainly an experiment. Thought I'd share it with you. You know, not everything works out not on this kind of stuff. But hey, yeah, whether the copper melts or not, it's worth money. Yeah. Taking the time and the gas and everything to melt melt it down. I think uh the copper ingots on eBay were going from seven to nine dollars a pound. I think's what I what I looked up. So I thought, well, that's not too bad. That's you know, a little over twice what it uh, scrap value is. So might be able to make some money doing it that way. Which the Devil Forge will be 100% propane. But uh, I watched a guy do a video yesterday. It took him 15, 17 minutes to 
melt this crucible full, and it was a bigger crucible than that. I may move up to a bigger crucible. Right now I'm comfortable with this size. The bigger you go, the heavier they get. So, of course I like their, their pour and, you know, instead of having tongs like this, they just got a, a bar with a loop and then they probably got a handle on the end for controlling everything. So, I may do something like that down the road. But, uh, you see, I've bolted the bottom part of the furnace together. Thought about putting kale wool around on the inside, giving it a little more, but there's not a lot of heat that passes through that thing. But hey, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you're not a subscriber, I'd appreciate it if you would. Hope I can, you know, look around the my channel a little bit and look at the different types of videos I have. Check out the playlists. Uh, maybe I can earn your subscription. And, uh, I also have uh, different things on my Amazon affiliate store, so take a look around there if there's anything you might need. You know, cutting discs, uh, chisels, screwdrivers, drill bits. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I use in my shop that I buy on Amazon is I've, I've got on there. So uh, you guys take care. We'll see you in the next video.